What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make cool creative worksheets in Keynote. Now, before we get started, you could totally do the same things I'm showing you in other things like word processing, like Microsoft Word or even Pages. But if you wanna do cool creative things, it's way easier and way better in my opinion to do them in Keynote. So let's dive in and I'll show you how. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go and open Keynote first of all. It'll take you to this screen. Now for worksheets, I always choose white as the theme because you're most likely gonna print it on white paper and we'll pop up your open document. So over here on the left, I'll drop it down to 50% because I like to see everything that's going on first and delete these two text box. And so here you have a landscape slide. You don't want a lands uh, landscape slide, you want a portrait slide. So if you go up here to the right, you hit document and down here it says slide size and then it's on standard 4.3. It also can go widescreen 16.9, but it can also go custom and custom is what you want. So you hit custom and it'll drop down width 10.24, height 7.68. All you have to do is reverse these two numbers. And bam, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see, you have an eight and a half by 11 that you can totally work with. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit text and it'll create a text box. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to create text. Um, and so let's make, we'll go up here to the left and under format, you have style, text, and arrange. Text is what we want. That way you can pick the fonts and you can mess with all the other features of it. Um, this Helvetica, we could do better than that. Let's pick a cool custom font. I have a lot of custom fonts I've downloaded off the internet because it makes stuff way cooler. Um, let's scroll down and maybe try the one that I use for enlightenment because that's where we're gonna make this is somewhere on here. I think it's called Charlemagne. There it is. So it says text, we changed it to the font that we want. And then all we have to do is type enlightenment. Walkthrough. So I'm calling this assignment a walkthrough. It's one of the assignments I do. It's one of like the basic kind of textbook closed questions assignments that I do. And so there you go, bam, enlightenment walkthrough. And so then I'll usually hit another text. And now Gil Sands is um, a font I like to use a lot in a lot of my presentations, not bold though, we'll unbold it and then make it aligned to the left. And we'll put it right here and it's size 32, which is kind of big. We'll probably make that, um, honestly, I make a lot of my worksheets in size 14. So we're gonna have to zoom up a bit so kids can read it. Size 12, I know, is kind of like normal size. Um, but we'll make it size 14 because make it a little bit more legible. Sometimes I'll even do size 16. So between 14 and 16 is like the reading size of what I want students to read. And we'll just drag this text box, up, text box out a little bit. So we will go with directions, colon. And you know what? I'm going to bold just the word directions, you know, so they know. And then you can basically type whatever you want. So I'm gonna type some directions real, real quick. I think for uh, walkthroughs, I'll put um, answer the, oops, I don't wanna bold. Answer the following questions in complete sentences. Uh, answer the following questions in complete sentences that restate the question. You do not need to rewrite the questions. Bam. All right, so what you can also do, so here you have the directions, and what I usually do is I'll click on the text box, I'll go Command D to duplicate it, line it up. The cool thing about it, I'll drag this down, the cool thing about Keynote is you see these yellow lines that pop up, they'll let you know where things are, you know, they'll give you an X and a Y axis. You can line things up perfectly um, as you want. And so um, just play around with that. It's a pretty cool feature. 
But we'll go with number one. Let's see what I want to hold. Number one. Um, I forget which question I'm going to ask. I think I'm just going to fast forward real quick and I'll show you what the end product looks like right now. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go grab um, some visuals. And so we'll go over here to Google. I'll uh, type in John Locke clip art and hit images. And I like to go under tools, size, and go down to large because those tend to be higher quality images. And we'll find one of John Locke, right? Um, I think I like this one the best. We'll click on that one. And then we'll grab it. And what's cool is you can just drag and drop across multiple desktops. Boom. Into Keynote. It's obviously really big. Um, we don't want it that big. We'll shrink it down. And we'll kind of have to like, you know, make it size 50 so we can kind of see everything that's going on. Drop it all the way down to kind of be a normal size. I'll put up here in the corner. And what's cool is that I'm going to show you how to use, um, well, first of all, the edit, how to edit this image. You can um, crop it in so it'll fit a little bit better. But I'm going to show you in a second how to use the instant alpha tool. And what that does is it can eliminate colors and so it'll like let you make it transparent in the background. And so here you have John Locke's head, but you can see the image is a square and I thought I want it to look cooler than that. So you hit image alpha and you kind of drag that around and it'll basically just delete certain colors that you've, that you've selected as you drag it. And so you kind of just have to play around with it um, to make sure you get all the colors, but then you know, you don't want to you don't want to delete his head or anything. So you kind of see here, I'm deleting some stuff I might not want to, but it'll all work out because I'll just crop it in so you won't see it anyways. And then you hit done, bam. Then you have John Locke's head on its own without looking like a weird square. So that's how you do that. So as you can see, that is how you can make cool worksheets in Keynote. And this is just one example. I showed you a walkthrough. Um, but you can basically use the same techniques I showed you with the dragging and the dropping and changing um, the dimensions of the page. You can do all of that to make whatever worksheets you want for whatever purpose that suits you. So before we go though, I want to show you one cool reason why you should also make stuff in Keynote. And it's because when you export it to PDF, everything works even better for you to share it with other people. So if you want to share this with colleagues and they might not have um, Keynote, they might not be using Keynote, but you maybe like want to share this with them. What you can do is you can go over here to File and Export. And under Export, you can even put this to PowerPoint or QuickTime or Images. Um, I usually share things via PDF, so I'll hit PDF. This will drop down. You want to go Image Quality Best because, you know, it's the best. Hit Next. Give it a name. We'll just call it Enlightenment Walk through, hit export, and bam, it'll be on your desktop and you can attach it as an email or, you know, airdrop it or um, do whatever you need to do to share it with your colleagues. All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Comment below if you have any further questions or any suggestions of what you want me to show you how to make in Keynote next week. But I got to go. It's time to get back to class. And so I'll see you guys on Friday.